How are we doing, Glasgow? Friday night, it's fucking payday. Here we go. <laughs> it's good to be here in the Scottish Exhibition and Conference Centre. Here we are. The SECC, or as it's known locally, that fucking SECC. <laughs> Three quid for a hot dog in that fucking SECC. <laughs> See the queue at the bar in that fucking SECC. <laughs> I love in these big venues, you know, when people come in and they see their mates and they're on the phone. I'm going, where are you? <laughs> We're in D. We're in D. What are you in? I'm in K. D E F G H I J K. Stand up, where are you wearing? Oh, uh, yellow t shirt. <laughs> oh, I can see you. I can see you. Nice to be here. I've seen, I seen Lady Gaga perform in here. I've seen Lady Gaga in here. It's easy. It's easy to slag Lady Gaga, but the guy puts on a good show. <laughs> <laughs> I've seen him up here singing about his poker face. Now he's a talented bloke. <laughs> <laughs> Still, did you see the entrance? Did you see the intro? Tony Soprano, eh? I don't even drive, man. See how smooth that was? I don't even drive. <laughs> I kind of ruin Tony Soprano's image if he just whipped out a provisional driving license. <laughs> you believe this fucking cag sucker? <laughs> so it is good to be back. This is the last night of the tour. Good to be back in Glasgow. <laughs> good to come back to Glasgow because you can speak, you know, when you travel with a Scottish accent, it's kind of hard. Nobody understands anything you're saying. No, I've done a few, I've done a few TV shows. I'm a pretty fucking big deal. No. <laughs> yeah. I'm serious news. No, I've done a few TV shows. And when you've got a Scottish accent on the telly, you need to try and enunciate it and use proper English, but it's hard to find the right balance, because no matter how hard you try to enunciate and use proper English, there's still somebody from Lemington Spa. <laughs> and we saw you on the television. I didn't quite understand everything you were saying. <laughs> didn't quite catch it. Some of it a bit over my head. Your accent is really quite strong. You've got a really thick Scotch accent. Didn't quite catch everything you said. Whilst there's somebody in Scotland saying, we've seen you on the telly talking like a fucking bender. <laughs> Care to explain yourself? It's when you travel down south and you tell people you're from Glasgow, they get quite excited. They go, oh, Glasgow, yeah, it's really quite rough, isn't it? Really violent, yeah. And you kind of get proud. And you go, oh, why, oh, why? <laughs> yeah, a lot, of, a lot of tough guys. Oh, why, a lot of tough guys. Yeah. <laughs> and they visit the place and they're a bit disappointed. You know, we've got, we're trying to get away from the stereotypes. We've got a, a new promotional tourist campaign called Glasgow Scotland with Style. Everybody's seen the posters. It's one of these kind of homogenised posters of people supposed to be the new face of Glasgow. People with names like Nathan. <laughs> now, every major city advertises the happy people like Nathan, and it's this guy's in the poster, Nathan, sales assistant, proud Glaswegian. I don't think a sales assistant called Nathan is a fair representation of any major city. <laughs> I think major cities should play up to their stereotypes on the billboards advertising your city. Show them real people like we, Mental Davy. <laughs> Apprentice Joiner. <laughs> Father of six. <laughs> Davies there, in the billboard with the six kids all tucked into the one tracksuit. 
a Lacoste tracksuit and only the best <laughs> for these kids. They're all dressed up for their granny's fair turf. <laughs> You've got the six kids, you've got Keanu, you've got Sigourney. <laughs> Destiny, that's a new one I heard. Destiny. Imagine naming your daughter after the nightclub she was conceived in. <laughs> <laughs> this is Destiny, and this is my son, the garage. <laughs> <laughs> that was announced, not a shock statistic about teenage pregnancy. Apparently, one in three 15 year olds in the UK admit to being sexually active. That was a shock tabloid headline. I don't know where they get this kind of evidence. No, I don't know who they ask to get these statistics. No, if some youth worker, some youth worker approached you when you were 15 years old <laughs> in front of all your pals. and asked you if you were sexually active. <laughs> you said, fucking right, mate. <laughs> Who's Shagger? <laughs> Put me in for five, pal. We didn't have any sex education at school. Remember, word would spread when you were 15. If you went to the health centre, they gave you condoms. That was good. You went down there, got the health centre, got your condoms. None of us were well sexed, but you got the condoms. Filled them up with water. <laughs> they become water balloons. <laughs> Using a condom in a water fight. The thinking man's water fight. But you'd always have one of your friends who would take it a bit too far and introduce a Durex extra safe. <laughs> A Durex extra safe in a water fight. You'll fucking put somebody in a coma. <laughs> a Durex ribbed extra safe. <laughs> You'll need facial reconstructions. 